It's Patrick here with Vetted Biz. Today I'm going to talk about the Hot Works franchise, which is a really fast growing franchise in the fitness industry. Now, Hot Works business model is a bit unique and they invented something that's on the cutting edge of fitness. Today we're going to go through the franchise costs, just how much Hot Works makes, and a little bit more about this overall industry of fitness going into 2022. So first off, Hot Works, the concept was founded in 2014 and was patented basically doing workouts and asana using infrared technology. So Hot Works has grown from just one location in 2017 to finishing 2020 with nearly 160 locations in the US and also expanding abroad. As of this video, they have well over 200 locations throughout the United States as well as in different countries. The initial franchise fee for a Hot Works franchise is just under $20,000. Now it's gonna cost you between $200,000 and about $375,000 to open up a Hot Works franchise in the United States. One thing to keep in mind, there's a lot of ongoing fees and costs related to operating a Hot Works franchise. Now the royalty is not based on a percentage, it's rather set at $550 a month. However, they charge for POS system and other systems like virtual instructor software fee, the customer relationship management, secret shop inspections at $100 a month. Now, I, th I don't know if that cost should be falling on the franchisee or if that should be a cost more that the, the franchisor absorbs to really retain their, their brand equity. And then if there's a site visit, you gotta pay $200 a day for that site visit. So there's a lot of kind of hidden fees, even though the royalties are very low and the marketing fee is very low as well. The average total revenue for Hotworks franchises in 2020 was around $237,000. Keep in mind, this is not how much money you take home. This is the sales figures. And based on these sales of 237,000, franchisees on average were making about $50,000 in EBITDA, or just simpling it down, at, they were taking home about $50,000. This $50,000 of earnings for the average franchisee in 2020 was a drop down from 72,000 in 2019. All things considered for the fitness industry, this wasn't a huge drop down as we saw in other systems like Orange Theory, for example, that basically the, the sales evaporated across many of their locations, especially in the Northeast. Using a 2019 income of $50,000 and then the midpoint investment of $285,000, and keeping in mind that it can take a year, year and a half to open up the, find the location, open up the location, so you have that capital ready to invest and you're investing it to the point you break even and start taking money out. That can take 12 to 18 months. So building that in, we expect for an investment in a Hotworks franchise to take over six years to recuperate your initial capital investment. Now, I just did a video on Orange Theory where it could take 10 years to recuperate your initial capital investment as the midpoint investment amount is significantly higher at 1.3 million. Now, keep in mind, if you're opening up a fitness franchise in the United States, there's a lot of really interesting concepts. However, fitness is an industry that trends can shoot up and then shoot down in just a period of a few years. We saw somewhere parallels in the frozen desserts industry with frozen yogurts, for example, that had a nice ride for five years, and then it came crashing down. So again, Hotworks, $285,000 more or less to open, $20,000 franchise fee, should take you about six years to make your money back. Could it take four years, three years? Potentially, if you invest less money and it's a very high performing location. If you're interested in a fitness franchise, I do encourage you to take a look at Vetted Biz and see all that are available. And if you're interested specifically in Hotworks, it's a really good idea to talk to at least five franchisees to better understand how much time they're allocating to the business, what their initial upfront investment was, and how long it took them to break even and recoup their initial capital investment.